Coming up, season five of High School Quiz Show, it's Dover Sherborne High School. <laughs> Taking on Lexington High School. <laughs> That's next on High School Quiz Show. <laughs> You can file a claim. You can pay your bill. Safety's mobile app helps you manage life storms for your auto, home, and business. Ask an independent agent about safety insurance. Okay, welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm your host, Billy Costa. Back in November, 96 public high school teams throughout Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. The goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion and to take home this beautiful trophy. Our quiz show champions will then move on to compete in the second annual Governor's Cup Challenge hosted this year by New Hampshire Public Television. And before we meet the teams, uh, all of you folks at home, Grab your mobile phone, your tablet, or your laptop so you can play along with us live right now. And by the way, the game for you is multiple choice, so there's really nothing to lose. So log in now at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. Today's matchup is Dover Sherborne High School taking on Lexington High School. Let's get right to it and meet the Dover Sherborne High School team. We've got Charlie, Max, Jake and Grant. Uh, the team alternate is Steven, uh, the coach, Charlie Chickless. <laughs> and now the team from Lexington High School. Let's meet them. We've got Colin, David, Aren, and David. Alternate on the sidelines is Liam, and the coaches, Carrie Darling and William Cole. <laughs> As always, the competition has four rounds, a toss-up round, a head-to-head, -head, a categories round, and a lightning round. And we start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. And this is the only round, by the way, with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So if everybody's ready to go, here we go. The last film personally overseen by Walt Disney was what 1967 animated feature based on stories by Rudyard Kipling? A Wren. Jungle Book. That is correct. In 1927, Charles Lindbergh made his historic solo flight across the Atlantic. He flew from New York City to an airport just outside what capital city? Grant. Paris. Correct. Uh, derived from the Latin word for thread. What thin wire inside a light bulb heats up when electricity flows through it? Grant. Filament. Yes. Although she has reportedly visited 116 countries, England's Queen Elizabeth does not hold what formal document that permits foreign travel for citizens? Yes, David. A passport. A passport. Go figure. Uh, the word vaccination is derived from the Latin word vacca, which refers to what animal? Colin. Cow. Yes. Uh, John Wilkes Booth and his co-conspirators plan to assassinate not only President Abraham Lincoln, but also what vice president? Arendt. Andrew Johnson. Yes. Uh, atomic number 78 refers to what metal that is more expensive than gold and is remarkably resistant to corrosion? David. Platinum. Yes. Uh, we'll always have Paris. And round up the usual suspects are quotes from what 1942 film voted the best screenplay ever by the Writers Guild of America. Max. Casablanca. Yes. In June 2013, after several months of fierce opposition, what federal agency reversed its decision to allow small knives to be carried onto airplanes? Arendt. The TSA. TSA is correct. Uh, the next question is going to be up on the video screen. We have a very special guest, so take a look and a listen right here. Hi, I'm Hannah Carney. I won a gold medal in mogul skiing at the 2010 Vancouver Olympics, and I'll be competing in Sochi this winter. Here's my question. 
the United States boycotted the 1980 Moscow Olympics to protest the Soviet invasion of which Middle Eastern country? Charlie. Afghanistan. That's correct. And we move on. In 2013, fans of the canceled TV show Veronica Mars used what crowdfunding platform to raise $5.7 million to fund a Veronica Mars movie? Call it. Kickstarter? Yes. Who drew from his experience as an aide at a mental hospital to write his best-selling novel, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Colin. Ken Kesey. That's correct. Uh, the Great Sandy Desert and the Great Victoria Desert are located in what country? Iran. Australia. Yes. Which of the following terms describes uh, the transfer of heat between substances that are in direct contact with each other? Is it A, convection, B, conduction, or C, radiation? David. Conduction. Conduction is right. Math question. Subtract 20 squared from 40 squared. Arendt. 1,200. Correct. Uh, what paper has been treated with a specific indicator obtained from lichens to test for the presence of acids and alkalis? David. Litmus paper. That is right. Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead reached number one on the British iTunes chart following a controversial campaign to denigrate the memory of what politician who passed away in April 2013? Margaret uh, Thatcher. Yes, Arendt. Which of the three main rock types that makes up most of the oceanic and continental crust, as well as most of the rock deeper in the Earth? David. Igneous. That is correct. In printing technology, the most commonly used primary colors are cyan, magenta, and what third color? Colin. Yellow. Yes. Uh, which of the following men organized the 1972 break-in at the Watergate Hotel? Was it A, G. Gordon Liddy, B, Alexander Butterfield, C, Spiro Agnew? Max. A, G. Gordon Liddy. That's correct. What husband of Clytemnestra was the leader of the Greeks in the Trojan War? Colin. Agamemnon. That's right. In September 2013, an Egyptian court banned the activities of what pan-Islamic political organization that supports ousted President Mohamed Morsi? Uh, Charlie. The Muslim Brotherhood. That is right. Though he fought for a strong federal government, uh, what founding father and compiler of dictionaries opposed including a Bill of Rights in the Constitution? Colin. Webster. Yes. Math question. If you took out a $40,000 loan at 0.75% simple interest, how much interest would you pay in a five-year period? Max. $150,000? No. Uh, Lexington? Yes, $1, David. $1,500? $1,500 is correct. We move on. Uh, what word that begins with the letter Q refers to the incredibly luminous phenomena associated with the supermassive black holes at the centers of some galaxies. David. Quasars? Yes, that's correct. In 2013, investigators uh, conducted new DNA tests on the remains of what man who confessed to being the Boston Strangler in the 1960s? Colin. Albert DeSalvo? Yes. Films like The Omen have featured the thunderous timpani and rising choruses of the song O Fortuna, which is part of what famous cantata by Carl Orff? Colin. Carmina Burana. That is correct. In May 2013, after 20 years of playing professional soccer, what British superstar announced his retirement? Max. David Beckham? Yes. Uh, what capital city? Of Belarus was almost completely destroyed during World War II and rebuilt during the Soviet era. Colin. Minsk. Minsk. That's right. Uh, the Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen, one of the basic charters of human liberties, was adopted by France's National Assembly in what year? Arendt. 1789. That is right. Uh, drip water can form what elongated mineral formations that rise from the floor of a cave? Colin. Stalagmites. That's right. That's the end of round one. We take a look at the score. Dover Sherborne High, 70 points. Lexington High, 240 points. Let's hear it for both teams. <laughs> All right, 
But uh, the head-to-head -head round is uh, up next. But first, we like to get to know the players a little bit better. And I've got a question in my hand, and each of you will answer it in your own way. And we're going to start over here with Dover Sherborne. Here's the question. If you were a car, uh, what model would you be and why? And, Charlie, you can start. I'd be a Volvo. Really? <laughs> why is that? They're very uh, reliable, but yeah. not too flashy. <laughs> Much like yourself. Yes. Uh, Max, how about you? Uh, I'd be Mini Cooper. <laughs> size, size. I don't think you need to explain. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but then again, you're standing next to Charlie. Uh, Jake, how about you? Uh, I'd be one of those Google smart cars that can drive itself. Oh, yeah, those are cool. Those are cool. Although I don't totally trust them yet. <laughs> uh, Grant, how about you? Well, I, I'd probably be a Tesla, because, you know, you can save some gas and stuff, but, you know, also have a lot of fun at the same time. Okay. Over to Lexington we go, Colin. I'd be a Subaru, because, um, well, they're solid, dependable, they don't break down, they're pretty good in the snow, and my parents have always had at least one since I was born. So you're a Subaru family? I, I, I you oh, can yeah. say that, yeah. Uh, David, how about you? I'd be a Ford Crown Victoria. Oh! Yeah. That's like a state trooper car or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, but why? Just, well, nobody will want to mess with me, right? <laughs> <laughs> a Ren. I think I would be an Aston Martin DB5. Ooh. That's very Bond-like, right? Exactly. Yeah. They're much like me. It is clever, sleek, and good with the ladies. So. <laughs> <laughs> David! Uh, I would probably be a Tesla Model S uh -huh. because it's perfect combination of sustainability and swag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. Now, here's the deal on head-to-head. -head. I love this round. You choose a team member to come forward and go head-to-head. -head. So, Dover, Sureborn, who's it going to be? Me. Max is choosing himself. Uh, uh, Lexington, who's it going to be? Colin. Hey. Colin. Colin. Max from Dover, Sherborn. Colin from Lexington. Come on down. Let's go head to head. <laughs> All right, so here we go head to head. I've got the Raider to my right and the Minuteman to my left. You want to shake hands, fellas, and uh, come on out? Okay. Uh, now, a reminder in this uh, head to head round, uh, you get 10 points for correct answers, but you can lose 10 points for a wrong answer. And by the way, you can buzz in as soon as you know the answer. So if you gentlemen are ready, here we go. The clock is set at 90 seconds. After winning re-election in 2010, who said he would not seek a third term as governor of Massachusetts? Deval Patrick. Yes. Which of the seven continents has the fewest people per square mile? Yes. Antarctica. Right. Uh, what month is named after the Roman god of war? Yes. March. Correct. Uh, what imperial city was the capital of Japan until 1868? Just missed, I think. Correct? I think I he missed it. Kyoto is the answer. In uh, 2013, what male tennis player won a historic eighth championship at the French Open? Colin? Rafael Nadal. Yes. Uh, Newton's second law of motion states that mass times acceleration is equal to what? Yeah. Force. Correct. Uh, what crafty and selfish rat appears in E.B. White's novel, Charlotte's Web? Templeton. Templeton. Uh, what first wife of Napoleon Bonaparte was crowned Empress of France in 1804? Josephine. Around 300 B.C., who released his uh, treatise on geometry entitled The Elements? Yes. Euclid. Yes. Uh, what do you do with the B.A. in English? Is a song from what long-running puppet musical? Avenue Q. Avenue Q. Uh, more than 12,000 Union prisoners died from starvation or disease. Yes. Andersonville. Andersonville is right. In Greek myth, what nymph so oh couldn't get it in? That's the end of round two. We check the scores. Dover Shoreborn, 90 right now. Lexington High School, 300 points. Let's hear it for both teams, the Raiders and the Minutemen, as they shake hands and go back to their fort. Okay, next up for our contestants and for everybody playing at home, it's the category round. And we do have six categories. WW, Home Sweet Home, Tech Talk, Do the Math, Map Quest, and May I Have a Word. Uh, each category has five questions with increasing point value, so there is a lot at stake. And by the way, teams, you can confer with your teammates in this round. 
Once you buzz in, you are no longer able to confer and will need your answer. Now, Dover Shoreborn has some ground to make up, so uh, you guys get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? MapQuest. MapQuest. These are questions about geography, and for 10 points, the largest U.S. state by area is Alaska, with more than 570,000 square miles. What is the smallest U.S. state with less than 1,300 square miles? Colin. Rhode Island. Rhode Island is correct, so you get control of the board. What category would you like? Stay, MapQuest. We're going to stay with MapQuest this time for 15 points. Notre Dame is a famous Gothic cathedral that sits on an island in what river that runs through Paris? Yes, David. The sign. Correct. Uh, you've still got control of the board. Map quest. Yeah. Map quest for 20 points. The historical region of Mesopotamia corresponds mainly to what present-day country in the Middle East? Yes, Charlie. Iraq. Iraq is right. You get the board back. What's it going to be? Category? Map quest. Map quest for 25 points. Uh, what country along the coast of Western Africa is the only black state in Africa that was never subjected to European colonial rule. Yes, David? Liberia. Liberia, and you get the board back. Category, please, Lexington. Map quest. 30 points. What country is on a narrow strip of land that extends from the border of Costa Rica in North America to the border of Colombia in South America? Yes, Aren. Panama. Panama is correct. You've still got the board category. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Questions about historic homes for 10 points. What Virginia mansion was the home of George Washington for more than 40 years? Yes, Max. Mount Vernon. Correct. You've got the board category. Uh, may I have a word for 10? May I have a word? Correctly spell the following words and for 10 points, a cruelly malicious person. Spell villain. David. V-I-L-L-A-I-N. Correct. And you've got the board back. Lexington, what category? May I have a word for 15? An event or happening spell occurrence. Aren. O-C-C-U-R-R-E-N-C-E. -E. And you've still got the board. That's correct. What's it going to be? Uh, let's go back to home sweet home. For 15 points. The Grand Trianon is a garden retreat on the grounds of what French palace built for Louis XIV? Aren? Versailles. Yes. Category, you've still got the board. Let's keep going with Home Sweet Home. Home Sweet Home for 20. What's the largest and grandest of the Vanderbilt family mansions in Newport, Rhode Island? Max? The Breakers? Yes, that's right. And you get the board. Give me a category. Uh, WW. WW. Uh, these are questions about people with the initials WW. And for 10 points in 1917, who said that America should enter World War I to make the world safe for democracy? Uh, Grant? Uh, Woodrow Wilson. That is correct. You've still got the board category. Uh, why don't we keep going? We're going to stay here for 15 points. I insist upon my rooms being beautiful. I can't abide ugliness in factories. Who says this in the book Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Aren. Willy Wonka. You got it, and you've got the board category. Let's go back to Home Sweet Home. Home Sweet Home, and this time it's going to be for 25 points. Located in beautiful Lenox, Massachusetts, The Mount is the historic home of what author of The Age of Innocence and Ethan Frome? Colin. Edith Wharton. That is correct. Category Lexington? Let's just finish it. Finish it for 30. Major renovations to Kensington Palace and Hampton Court, both located in Greater London, were designed by what prominent English architect? Charlie. Uh, Christopher Wren. That is correct. And now you've got the board, Dover Shoreborn. Category? WW for 20. WW for 20 points. What American writer is remembered for his landmark poetry collection, Leaves of Grass? Yes, David. Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman is correct. Category Lexington. WW for 25. 25 points. I am the danger. I am the one who knocks. What iconic TV character says this to his wife on Breaking Bad? Colin. Walter White. Of course. You've still got the board. Category? Finish it up. Finish it up for 30. Known as the Hammer and Scourge of England, what 13th century Scottish national hero was the inspiration for the film Braveheart? Yes, Colin? William Wallace. William Wallace. Uh, you've still got the board. You'll need another category, though. May yeah. I have a word? May I have a word, and this time for 20 points. Uh, the courses that are taught by a school spell curriculum. 
Colin. C-U-R-R-I-C-U-L-U-M. Correct, and you've got the board, Lexington. May I have a word? We're going to stay there for 25. Lacking in freshness or originality, spell hackneyed. Grant. H-A-C-K-N-E-Y-E-D. That is correct. So Dover Sherborne, you're back with the board. Category? Uh, why don't we finish, man? Finish it for 30. And indicator of trend, spell bellwether. Grant. B-E-L-L-W-E-T-H-E-R. That is correct. You've still got the board. Category? Tech Talk. Tech Talk. Uh, questions about technology <laughs> for 10 points. Because it is a good conductor and because it is relatively inexpensive, what metal is most often used to make electrical wires? Grant? Copper. Correct. Category? Let's keep going. For uh, 15 points, uh, Antony Van Leeuwenhoek is remembered as the first person to observe bacteria and for his improvements to what instrument? Charlie? The microscope. That is correct. Category? Tech Talk. Tech Talk for 20. Who founded his namesake audio company in 1965 to reduce tape hiss and later introduced a surround sound system used in cinemas? Max? Uh, Bose? No, Lexington. Dolby. Ar Aren. Dolby? Ray Dolby is correct. Lexington, you've got the board category. Tech Talk. For 25 points. What American physicist launched the first liquid-fueled rocket in 1926 and today has a NASA space flight center named after him? Yes, David. Goddard. Goddard is correct. Dr. Robert Goddard. And category, please. Tech talk. Finish it for 30. During World War II, Britain's Alan Turing helped the Allies decipher messages made by what German code-making machine? Colin. Enigma. Correct. We've only got one category left, so that's what you're going to get. Uh, for 10 points, fellas, questions about math. What six-letter term defines any angle that is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees? Obtuse. David, yes, uh, obtuse. Uh, for 15 points, the standard equation for a straight line is y equals mx plus b. Which letter represents the y-intercept? Yes, Max? B. That is correct. For 20 points, a non-equilateral isosceles triangle has how many lines of reflectional symmetry? Yes, David? One. One is correct. For 25 points... What trigonometric function is the reciprocal of uh, the secant? Max? Cosine. Right. For 30 points, if... Uh, oh, that was the final question in the categories round. I don't think we've ever gotten that far, but that is uh, the end of the categories round. Let's take a look at the score. Dover Sherborne right now, 280 points. And Lexington High School, 660 points. How about a nice round of applause for both teams? <laughs> we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it the lightning round. Now, you get 20 points for correct answers, but... Wrong answers will cost you 20. The clock is all set, guys. Are you all ready? Good luck. In uh, economics, what animal is used to refer to a downward market trend? Grant? Bear. Correct. Great Britain returned what administrative region to China in 1997? Hong Kong. Yes. In 2013, who retired from her job as Secretary of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security? Colin. Janet Napolitano. Yes. Water freezes at approximately 273 degrees K. What does the K stand for? Yes, Colin? Kelvin. Correct. In what Shakespeare play does the king disguise himself as a regular soldier to gauge the morale of his troops? Yes, Max? King Lear. No, Henry V. Uh, what U.S. state has the longest freshwater shoreline in the world? David? Michigan. Yes, in November 2013. What band topped the Billboard 200 chart with their album Reflector? Max? Um... Arcade Fire. Uh, by using the Suez Canal, ships avoid having to sail around which continent? Grant? Africa. Right. In 2011, who was re-elected Prime Minister of Canada? Arendt. Stephen Harper. Yes. What best-selling novelist wrote the thrillers Patriot Games and The Hunt for Red October? Arendt. Tom Clancy. Yes. Construction of the classical temple called the Pantheon began in 27 BC in what city? Colin. Rome. Rome. Uh, what instrument is used to detect and record earthquakes? Grant. Uh, 
seismograph? Yes. By the time he was 16, what Macedonian had founded his first colony? Alexander yes. the Great. Yes. Uh, what Cape Cod naturalist? Oh, that's the buzzer, which ends the game. And our winner today is Lexington High School. <laughs> Lexington High School with a score of 800. 20 points, Dobershire born, 300 points. What a great game, congratulations, both teams. Wow. That's it for now, we'll see you next week right here on High School Quiz Show, yes. Play along with High School Quiz Show every week at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Life is full of surprises. Some good, some not so good. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance's enhanced coverage for auto, home, and business so you don't get caught by surprise. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms. Bank of America is proud to support High School Quiz Show and committed to education initiatives throughout Massachusetts, including citizen schools, Teach for America, and local boys and girls clubs. For more information, you can visit bankofamerica.com slash Boston. Production of WGBH.